Hello everyone, my name is Hemingway Jones. Welcome to Hemingway Jones Presents. This is a series where I get right to the point and I introduce you to something new. Today, I'm coming to you from my kitchen and we're going to talk about cleaning a fountain pen. In this instance, it's the Estabrook SD in Nouveau Blue. This fountain pen has an internal converter. It's one of the most common types of fill mechanisms you're likely to encounter out there. So learning to clean it efficiently and easily is a good thing to know. So when do you need to clean your pen? Well, anytime you change ink colors. So when you go from blue to red, something like that, you don't want the colors mixing inside and coming out as some sort of strange purple. So it's always a good time. It helps to maintain your pen and to keep things flowing. And it's very easy. Let's walk through it. So of course, step one with this is to take your pen apart. I usually leave the converter in there at least at first. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is to rinse the nib. Give that a good rinse. The next thing I like to do is to take a jar like this and fill it up with water. So now what I like to do is to fill up the pen from the water, just as you would with ink. You can see it's kind of dirty in there. And then I flush it out. You can see actually that the, it's coming out just like ink. And then I just rinse it again. Shake it off. So I'm always obsessing over process and I feel like if you keep doing this, where you take the water from the jar and then you simply expel it out and then rinse the nib, it uses the minimal amount of water and cleans it pretty well. See, the one interesting thing here is if you use this jar method, you're taking clean water from the jar and it stays pretty clean because you're rinsing the nib. So you're not flushing your pen out with dirty water. So I've done that four times now and you can see it's pretty clear. There's a little bit of water in there, but not so much. Now it's an extra step. You can separate the converter from the feed and nib unit. We can rinse this out and rinse this out as well. Okay, just a quick rinse here, here. There you go. And that's an extra step. You can fill it directly from the converter as well, just to make sure that you're getting everything. I don't always do this though, to be honest. Okay, now we're done. We'll just put all these pieces on this plate and let it dry for a few hours. Sometimes I put a paper towel underneath. A few minutes later. The pen is dry now, so we're going to put it back together. And now we're ready to ink it and get writing again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode on how to clean your fountain pen. Which method do you use? Do you do anything differently? There's plenty of different ways to do it, but this is a very easy, straightforward, economical way. Let me know in the comments. If you found this episode helpful, please like, comment, and share it with someone else who might also be interested in this content. I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you. I release videos all the time, so I will see you very soon with another exciting episode. Until then, take care.